Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have another leak to talk about today. Yesterday's leak came true. I think today's leak will probably come true as well. And we are talking about a footies, Le Croix SBC, the French center back, probably one of the most rattiest players that we have had released during footies so far. I know we have this Ben Yedder that is going to be coming in a couple weeks as a part of Summer Swap's two rewards, but we haven't had that many like super rats really released during footies yet. Only a couple, right? So this Le Croix is definitely on the list though as one of the most ratty center backs in the game. And of course, made famous this year just because of his gold card having so much pace. But I think that SBC could change some things on the market today. I wanna to take a look at that and how, why I think it's gonna to drop today and how I think that might go down on the game today. Of course, we have a couple of those gamble packs and player picks that everybody loves. Expiring today as well, the 94 plus Shapeshifter player pick is going away today. So is the Hero uh, Shapeshifter and Captain's player pick. So I think either one or both of these is going to get re-released. The 86 plus player pick is also expiring today. So it's just going to be another one of those interesting days where I'm really not entirely sure what's going to go on. After the content day that we had yesterday that was a bit underwhelming with the 85 times 10 literally just being refreshed in the same fashion that it was last week. And the Ronaldinho SBC being so overpriced for what we were hoping that it would be, especially after last week's very good value, Rude Hullet. Ronaldinho is the exact opposite of that. And we saw some market moves happen because of it. So I want to take a look at that. SBC fodder, market prices, everything under the sun that's going on inside of footies right now. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by taking a look at this SBC. I think that this SBC is going to be coming into the game today. Either today or Thursday, honestly, would be my best guess uh, because Wednesday is all about the voting, right? And EA, of course, on Wednesdays drops a new, um, you know, like the, the voting player pick thing in the store. And we haven't seen many player SBCs on Wednesdays, I do believe. Um, we have seen them on every other day of the week, though. So I think there is potential for this LaCroix to drop today. Hopefully it is today because we need something else kind of to go along with the gamble pack kind of stuff today on Tuesday, in my opinion. But this is a prediction of what the card could look like. Of course, it is a footies favorite. It is not a um, footies premium card, according to the league. And it's ba it's ba it's flashing back to his future stars item in February that was very popular that so many people use, of course. And that's why he's getting the upgrade. Now, some people are looking at this and saying, hey, Nate. Does this mean this next week is going to be Bundesliga based? I don't think you can read into it that much yet. It is Tuesday though, and I believe last Tuesday and the Tuesday before was the day that we had the next dynamic duo SBC or objective, sorry, leaked. So I think later today on Tuesday, maybe even tomorrow on Wednesday, we will get a decent idea of what the next theme will be, right? So many of you guys have already finished the Serie A Cup. I finished it yesterday, got some rewards out of it. I packed a duplicate Tots Mane, which was kind of crazy. But like since that is a golden goal objective, basically in friendlies, where a lot of people are playing it as a golden goal, and there's no limited number of games per day, People are getting this done. People are already ready to know, like, what is the next Serie A Cup? And I'm glad that EA dropped some Summer Swaps objectives yesterday, which I was lucky enough to go 4-0 and in in the One Nation Germany because we have a few other games and, you know, objectives to grind without the cup mode being like an everyday sort of grind since so many of us already had that done since it was being played as golden goal. So I don't think that this leak right here really makes me believe it's going to be a Bundesliga week. Could it be a France week? It could be, who knows, but we'll find more information about that. Of course, if you're seeing this card, you know, you, you might want to do it, right? And how are you going to link this guy on your team is the question. Well, of course, if you did this Kevin and Babu objective, and I even remember thinking about this during the first week of footies, I was like, man, I should probably get this done. I thought the same thing about center back Tiago Jallo. I didn't get him done either. And now look, Tiago Jallo links to Jonathan David. Um, the Kevin and Babu has done a green link to Jibril Sal, whose SBC was released. And now he's going to link again to Lacroix. So I'm in the mud and I'm not doing a Babu, but that's the perfect right side link up or triangle. If you throw Sal in there too, between Lacroix and Babu and Sal, but especially between Lacroix and Babu. So if you have a Babu, you're feeling really, really good. But of course it's a French center back, right? And I even think like in my team, I have an opportunity and, and an open slot to, to put in a French center back if I wanted to. I packed this guy so many times during batch one and batch two, and I can only imagine what a plus three or a plus four 
on this LaCroix would look like. Uh, you know, probably getting the 99 sprint speed over 90 acceleration. Hopefully that agility and balance gets a decent boost. Um, you know, reactions will be going over 90. Your standing tackle will be going over 90. It'll be a really, really good center back card in the game. So many people want to use him. And hopefully the price in this SBC is not stupid expensive. Although I do think it could move some prices on the market, right? Think about some other of the most meta center backs that people may have tradable in their teams still at this point in the game. Eder Militao was one of those center backs that comes to mind. He's about 250,000 coins at the moment. I think if you compare a Lacroix footies card to him, more pace, similar defense and physical, maybe a little bit less agility and balance on the Lacroix card. Lacroix is actually very similar to a Varane type item where he has less agility and balance, but he still seems so OP. I hope that Lacroix comes in somewhere around you know, 200,000 coins or less because of the way that Militao and, you know, like Marquinhos, probably some of the, again, like I'm saying, some of the most popular center backs that are on this game. You know, Marquinhos is only 140,000 coins for the crack stats that he has. And he, your Militao is 250. So hopefully somewhere in between the 150 to 250 range on a Lacroix SBC. Um, as those guys, I know they're Brazilian, but still some of the best center backs in the game that are comparable to Lacroix, in my opinion. So definitely watch out for that SBC. I really think it could be today. I think that's the highest percentage chance, but it really could be any day throughout the rest of this week. So watch out for that card being released. Like I mentioned, the 94 plus Shapeshifter player pick. Last week, the EA surprised us by not re-releasing the 93 plus. They went with the 94. Now, what could they do today? Do they go to a 95? I think it might be a little early, but of course, if you also think about it, this Friday is when we will see shapeshifters in packs. So maybe they will say, all right, we'll give them a chance at thinking about the highest of shapeshifter tiers um, today on a, a couple days before they release those cards back into packs and, and maybe allow them to spend a little more coins trying to pack them before they do come back into packs and drop in value. But an 86 and an 88 rated squad is what this required last time. I believe it was like 200 and something thousand coins, 230K according to Footbin. That will be a player pick that, you know, is not terrible to craft because it's just, it's purely end game, right? All the shapeshifter cards are kind of the best version of any card in this game. Tots and shapeshifter are the last two promos that we had apart from the footies, SBCs and objectives. So for cards and packs, this is kind of the best that it gets. So hopefully they go 95 plus today. Even the 94 plus wasn't too terrible. Might be worth the craft or worth the gamble. You know, if you're doing that today, the hero shapeshifter or captain's player pick. This for me is not it. I really don't like this, this SBC, um, especially since so many of the hero shapeshifters, the, the best versions, right, are so cheap. I'm not a huge fan of that. So that might come back today. Also, the 86 plus player picks a little confusing because we've been having that SBC like repeatable every single day it refreshes for like the past week and a half today it's going away will they just flat up re-release it like they did yesterday with the 85 times 10 which is a bit disappointing will they make this like an 87 or an 88 plus player pick ea sports why not it's august you might as well do it so you know i would expect some sort of other player pick to be released today that would be cool as well of course your 90 times 7 upgrade will be a part of the day today and i think that we might have a token sbc expiring is that true yeah foot 14 expires today maybe just maybe they could drop us a little cheeky uh token sbc but hopefully they make it cheaper man because both of these against the tide and the foot 14 sbc are going for like 25 to 30k on uh to get them done that's what footpin says that's expensive for a token and I'm glad that EA Sports dropped the objectives yesterday because for us that are starting this token grind, basically everybody's starting this grind. Those first couple SBCs have been very, very expensive. Now, yesterday EA dropped more Summer Swaps tokens. They dropped eight more like we expect and what like we saw during Summer Swaps the first time around. But they dropped it with some different requirements. Belgium, Uruguay, Netherlands, and Germany mixing it up, which I don't have a problem with this. I think that it's cool. I like that they made the squad battles professional difficulty, so they didn't make it like world class or something difficult because there's not as many Belgium and Uruguayan special cards in this game as there are, you know, like Brazil and France and stuff like that. So people's squads won't be as hardcore and as top tier so i like that right one nation germany was actually a lot of fun i even played with like silver stars lucas podolski as my striker that was a blast one nation netherlands you know i'm gonna probably i'm hopefully probably what who am i pro gameplay guy not really but i'm gonna hopefully go 4-0 in that game mode today as you can see here this is my german team i forgot to sell Mukhtar. oh no let's put him on the tarantulas because 
that is a really great thing to talk about is every single Monday, whenever they drop these requirements, you're going to have some cards move in price if they keep dropping requirements like they did yesterday. This Mukhtar was 50,000 coins yesterday, man. 50K is what this guy was. He's now 100,000 coins. And I believe I bought mine for like 107 or something like that. I mean, he is a really, really good card, but I am not trying. I mean, he's, he's almost extinct, man. He's like literally at max price. So I played a few games with him. I'm taking the cash. Now my Dutch squad, um, I think there were some Dutch players that moved in price yesterday as well. I didn't actually take a look and find any of these on the market um, because my Dutch squad is like nothing super insane. I wasn't going to buy anything to put some new cards in it. But, um, you know, it, it's a little bit harder to put a Dutch squad together from what I saw from other, you know, just from what people m might have in their clubs and the, uh, you know, squads that I matched up against in the One Nation Friendly um, it looks like this is a little bit harder to do than the Germany one, but still got wild white horse up top, got the best long shots in the game with the lake. We're going to be fine for a golden goal. That's the best part about those friendlies, right? It's golden goal. So all I would say is if you're, if you bought a, a German player, you bought a Dutch player to go out and finish any of those objectives, get it done snappy, get it done quick, and then sell those guys because, uh, they're probably going to go down because a lot of them are still in packs as a part of the batch two that is currently impact at the moment so speaking of yesterday's content a little bit more let's talk market let's talk what else moved yesterday on the game well first of all i actually i actually made a flip yesterday i was trading in august just so i could say i traded in august ronaldinho dropped yesterday of course we talked about the leak we expected it to happen it did drop and man oh man why did ea sports make this sbc 2.3 2.4 million coins it was even 2.5 million coins it was first released and where fodder was yesterday um Ronaldinho was at 2.5 mil his card on the market literally compared right now 2.4 mil his SBC is 2.4 they're literally the same price I know that Ronaldinho's price is down about four or five hundred thousand coins from where he was so technically this is better value than it was before the leak happened and before his price dropped off due to the SBC and if you want to craft Ronaldinho you and all of us know that you can get this done or cheaper than 2.3 million coins by crafting with all the player picks, all the special cards that are in packs. But it's still just pain. After last week, we had a rude hole at SBC. This guy was 3 mil on the market, and EA went out and put his SBC in at 2 million coins. That's had us expecting Ronaldinho, maybe like, you know, 2 million, maybe 1.75 for the Ronaldinho SBC. But EA just kind of, they just kind of seem out of touch with this Ronaldinho. I mean, maybe they're just playing off the fact that they know that Ronaldinho just has so much hype that they know they can get people to still do this SBC, even if the price is more expensive. I'm not a huge fan of that. But since Ronaldinho was more expensive yesterday, kind of what happened on the market was you had these other big time Brazilian left wings, aka Neymar and Vinny Jr., bounce back up in price and Vinny is still going up right he at the content drop time I saw the the price of the Ronaldinho SBC I went sprinting back to the market picked up a Vinny Jr at 980k sold it at 1.07 and now he's kind of going back up maybe closer to 1.1 on the Xbox market now or sorry on a PlayStation market Xbox he's still kind of low still like 880 still down a little bit but the same thing happened with Neymar there were some people yesterday with the drop-offs to Neymar and the drop-offs to Vinicius Jr they saw the Ronaldinho because they were panic selling these cards because they're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to do Ronaldinho. And then Ronaldinho comes out, he's stupid expensive, and these cards rebound back up. Neymar was like 1.4, re rebounded all the way to 1.65, where he is right now. So over 200k swing on this Neymar as well. And, and yeah, these cards' prices will come back down. Neymar and Vinny Jr., I even think that some of these uh, TOTS cards that are in batch two are going to get re-released on Friday into batch three. So I'd be very careful holding on to any of these cards. But if you bought any of those, you know, left wings, even a Betty Pele was somebody who I was looking at yesterday in the video, like, all right, guys, left wing that is down in price, you know, um, might have some movement. He was one point, he was 1 million coins yesterday. I believe he's back to 1.1. Yeah, 1.12. So a lot of your top tier left wings bounce back in value after that Ronaldinho was just flat out too expensive. And, you know, with SBC fodder, with, with that SBC being a little bit more expensive, let's go talk about fodder for a second. You did see fodder go up yesterday. It was in some specific areas of the 83s, the 84s, and the 85s. Your gold rares are still rising as people are doing player picks. And actually, as I take a look at prices right now, you don't have any of that weekend league 
reward supply hitting the market right now. A lot of people still play weekend league on the weekends. And that's why I think you were seeing the 84s and the 83s drop down to really good prices. Um, you know, Friday night, Saturday night, and even last Sunday night, two nights ago, and we bought them before yesterday, right? And then they went up a good amount. Now, the reason why they're really not that down again, they're still 6.4, 6.5K is because I think you don't have that supply and there's still demand. So unlike what you saw Sunday where these, gar these cards, you know, went down or Sunday night, they went down 5.6K for Grealish. He was back up over 7,000 coins. Right now, he's barely down at all. So Am I really going to go out and buy a lot of these today to hope that these guys go to like 8K plus? Not really. Like you still could see this fodder go up some today. Um, if you, I would just do a club stock though. I wouldn't go super hard with investing because it would have to be a really insane LaCroix SBC today and a really insane other sort of SBC to make these 84s go up enough to make you know a good profit and to, to think that you're going to make some coins off of it. So I might still go ahead and buy a couple of these just to get them in the club for cheaper. But today for me is really going to be a grinding a player picks day, building up some player picks, getting some high rateds, and then filling in the holes where needed, uh, hopefully by um, in doing some other SBCs, like maybe the 90 times seven today. I do player picks, get some high rateds, use the 83s, 84s that I pack, and maybe buying one or two of these to get in. So the fodder flip does not look as good today, although I still would say it's, it's pretty smart to maybe club stock a couple of these um, in before another day of a lot of SBC demand and a lot of SBC content still getting released onto this game today. Now for the rest of the market yesterday, you saw some movements, right? We saw, it's honestly crazy that you still see the kinds of movements that you do um, after people open up their weekend league rewards. Where is Leroy Sané? That is the card that I want to take a look at. Last night on the YouTube video, Wow, 260, this guy is exploding. Last night on the YouTube video, we were looking at him and we're like, hey guys, this is pretty cheap at 190,000 coins. Um, now, rarity is an absolute factor here, uh, but this guy went all the way up to like 220, 230, got really rare, and he's kind of been in the high 200s now for the last little bit. It does help out that he was, of course, he is um, German, so in the friendly mode, there are some people going out and buying some and some German cards in there. But that was a really great flip last night, even before we knew about the German requirements. 190 all the way to 220. There were some other shapeshifter cards that had movements like that. And again, it's just another great reminder. Wow, is Valverde up because people are buying Uruguayan cards to play squad battles? Oh my goodness, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, it's just a good reminder that you can consistently trade with the shapeshifters in this market right now, just because they are rare, they fluctuate like the Abedi Pele going from one mil to 1.1. These are the absolute best cards to trade with on the game at the moment. Werner is up because he's German. That's got to be a part of it. Uh, it. It is a little bit crazy to see that, but like, you know, there's some fluctuations in here that you can trade with. Davies was just 170. Now he's 150 again. What's up with that? Um, maybe... 137, you saw, wait, look at this man, 137 last night, weekend league rewards, dipped down a bit with content, and now he's like 160 again. Maybe this is part of like the LaCroix hype happening, and maybe some people are buying Bundesliga cards, I don't know. But that's just uh, something that I would say is noticed on the market is that those cards still fluctuate a ton. Be careful holding them for too long because they are going to be back in packs, or at least most of the shapeshifters, we would imagine. To be back in packs 147 all right i'm gonna keep a watch on this dude because he was literally just 170 and there's not many cars there so if i catch like a 140 140 lows yeah, i'm gonna have to get involved here with a fonzie davies i think um based upon his price movements that i've seen not trying to really trade that much in august just trying to shout out some opportunities to trade if you're trying to still make a few bucks here and there wow listings too ggs um here and there on this game. Last but not least, just a couple really, really quick things about some leaks uh, that were posted. Foot Sheriff also posted a, um, let's see, where was it? It was right below LaCroix. He posted a new icon for FIFA 23, Jabi Alonso. And I think the stats here, don't read into the stats very much. 83 passing is criminal. Um, and, you know, it is a prediction, right? These stats are 100% a prediction, I believe. They are not the final stats for his card. But, he does say that this is a brand new icon coming to FIFA 23, which is intriguing because it almost feels like a Jabi Alonso icon card would just be one of those that would not be super duper great. It's like 
uh, you know, Pep Guardiola's icon card, really not that usable. And it almost feels like this might be another version of one of those like lesser icons that were maybe even getting transferred to foot heroes, right? We have the Akocha and the Nakata that are going from icons to heroes. This almost to me looks like a card that could be or feels like it could be a hero card, even if he maybe deserves the icon status or is like in that realm of possibility for an icon. Stat wise, making him a hero, I think would make his card more usable in the longer term next year in FIFA because heroes get more upgrades, it seems, or especially upgrading heroes early next year for the World Cup, um, you know, seems like they will get more consistent and more often upgrades than uh, the icons usually do. 125 for this Alfonso Davies. I'm going to go ahead and make a cheeky bid here at 130 and trade in August a little bit and see if I can pick one of these up and maybe sell it at 170. But yeah, that's for the, that's the video for today, guys. It's going to be an interesting Tuesday. I'm going to hammer the player picks today. Need to get a bunch of those done. Go out and do some of the gamble SBCs. Maybe I'll do Ferran Torres if he, before he expires. Maybe Jonathan David Zapata, you know, cash in a couple of these guys, get him in the club. And then hopefully today on Tuesday as well, we see some objective leaks or who our, our next dynamic duo might be. And that would give us hints on what is coming next week. So we'll probably talk a little bit more about that tomorrow if we do get those leaks. But for today, more gamble packs and hopefully a little Le Croix SBC because that would be pretty fun as well. If you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.